So I've already removed that screw. So 90 volt DC motor. Pull this out here. Got a red and a black. Pull this off. Okay, and I'm holding onto the, the one that the red one was connected to and I just hook it up, force it together. Just like that. So if it was uh, it was red to white and black to black, we just flipped it and that's uh, that's all good. Make sure we put this back. Depending on the orientation of the gearbox, what we can do is I'm going to show you how to rotate the motor if you need to. Okay, so I've already loosened these bolts off. Okay. I assume it's flipped up this way. We're going to take these, these three eighths bolts out. Okay. We're just going to, without, without lifting it up, we're just going to turn it. Okay. Now, if you have to lift it up, when you separate this, See, this has a coupling. This is why we don't really want to lift it up. Now, you see right in here, it's got uh, mates. So we just need to make sure that uh, these prongs sit in these holes. And that's why we don't really want to lift it up. So that sometimes just takes a second to get. So it falls down on itself. You, there's, there's no gap there. Uh, so you can see it's in position. And right there, we can thread our bolts in. Okay, and you, like I said, there's no gap right there. So that's, uh, that means that coupling is engaged. Okay. I'm just gonna snug those up off, off the video. And then these four bolts right here, these get removed and it gets split. Imagine there is your drive shaft that was connected. Uh, once you uh, take these bolts off, the gearbox will slide right off this shaft with the key in it, okay? Flipping this is a matter of getting a uh, four millimeter Allen key. Now your torque arm could be a little bit of a different configuration, but this is the same uh, principle. Now you can see it's centered. This is centered on the shaft, so. Okay. Snug them up. Now we're going to assume this on your conveyor. Going to line the key up with the key in the gearbox and just put it together.